Hi, I'm Jacob Beningo. In a recent series of articles and video blogs, I've been discussing how we can use MicroPython to develop real-time embedded software. We've mostly been using the Pi board in all of these discussions. This is the very first video where we're going to look at how we can create an Ubuntu virtual machine that we can then download the MicroPython repository ourselves, build it, and deploy the MicroPython language on any microcontroller that we want to. So in this video, we're going to walk through and create that, that first Ubuntu virtual machine. Now, we're going to do this using VMware Workstation. So it's the virtual machine that I prefer to use. What we do is we first create a new machine. We're just going to use typical settings. One of the first steps that you'll want to do is you'll want to download the latest version of Ubuntu. Now, when I put this video together in September 2015, the latest version is Ubuntu 14.04.3. So I went and downloaded the ISO image. I pointed my virtual machine, uh, my VMware workstation software to point to this ISO image. Once I've done so, I can go ahead and then click Next. It's going to ask for some basic information. So I'm going to go in, fill that information in, give it a username, password, login information. All right, once we do that, I'm going to call my virtual machine Ubuntu MicroPython. Once again, specifying that what I'm going to be doing on this virtual machine is I'm going to be setting up a Python, a MicroPython environment where I can build and customize MicroPython for my own personal needs. Once I give the name, I can go ahead and specify where it is that I want to store the system. I'm just going to store it on my eDrive under Virtual Machines. You can select the location on your own system. Then go ahead and click Next. Now the MicroPython repository is not very large. It's uh, pretty manageable. So leaving the default size of 20 gigabytes is perfectly fine. At this point, we've already gone through and configured most of the most of the information that VMware needs to set up our system. I'm going to go in and customize the hardware. I prefer to have a little bit more RAM associated with my virtual machines. So I'm going to get four gigabytes of RAM. Go ahead and click close, and I'm going to click finish. Now, as soon as I do that, VMware is going to launch my virtual machine. It's going to start to load the Ubuntu image, and it's going to take approximately 10 minutes for it to go through the entire setup process. The time required in order to set it up is going to vary depending on your system. Just keep that in mind. You may need to pause this video if you're going to follow along step by step. at this point we've successfully installed Ubuntu we've gotten to our login screen go ahead and enter in the password that you selected we'll then see that Ubuntu is going to start for the first time so it may take a little bit longer than normal now at this point we've got our virtual machine up and running successfully installed we can go ahead and expand it so it takes up the entire screen now that we have Ubuntu installed we're going to want to go and get a terminal opened so we can go ahead and search for a terminal. I'm going to drag it over into my sidebar so that it will always be available for me. I'm going to open my terminal. Now there are going to be a couple of tools that we're going to want to install before we ever even get MicroPython on our system. The first is we're going to want to make sure that we have Git installed. So the first thing that we're going to want to do, sudo, we're going to want to do an apt git install we're going to install git. Go ahead and hit enter. We're going to have to enter our password. It's going to go out. We're going to say yes. 
It's going to download Git and install it on our system. This will take a few moments. All right, we now successfully have Git. Now one of the other tools that we're going to want to install is the ARM compiler, the GCC ARM compiler. So once again, we're going to go sudo apt git install gcc arm none and to get the ea by e uh, once again we're going to go ahead say yes it will go through it'll download the gcc compiler so that we can go through and compile the micropython code base for the arm microcontrollers that we're going to be using now keep in mind that the MicroPython is designed to run on ARM Cortex M4 microcontrollers that have a hardware floating point unit. All right, so we've completed the installation of the ARM compiler. One of the next things that we're going to want to install is serial interface. I personally like to use screen, so I'm going to install screen using once again sudo apt-get install and then screen. That way I can now have a terminal. Once I get my development kit set up, I'll be able to use this terminal to communicate with the MicroPython board uh, using the repo. All right, so at that point, we have all the basic fundamental tools that we're going to need to install MicroPython and then to compile it. So let's go ahead and get the MicroPython repository. We can do this, once again from our terminal, by typing git clone we're going to clone from the GitHub, so it's HTTPS. It's going to be github.com slash micropython, and it's going to be micropython.git. Once again, go ahead and hit enter. It's going to go through. It's going to clone micropython onto the system. And at that point, we have micropython source on the system, as you can see here. And in the next video, we'll talk a little bit more about how we can get a development kit up and running using this MicroPython code base. Thanks for your time and attention. I look forward to talking with you again soon.